OK, so our profile page is going to be made up of a large header at the top which contains the user's image, their display name, as well as some information about which users they're following and give the user the ability to follow another user as well. So what we'll do, we'll start with that and inside our Solution Explorer we'll go to our Profiles folder and we'll create a new file and we'll call it profileheader.tsx and inside here, what we'll do as per normal, we'll say import react from react and we'll say export default function and call it profile header and we're going to return and we're just going to add some semantic UI components to style this particular component so we'll add a segment to make it stand out on the page and we'll use the grid system and need to bring in grid as well to make use of this and then we'll add a grid dot column and we'll give this a width equal to 12 and then we'll add an item dot group and in here we'll add an item and all of this is just for styling so it looks okay on our header here and we'll add an item dot image and we'll make it an avatar we'll give it a size equal to small and we'll say the source is equal to for now just the forward slash assets forward slash user dot png and then we'll add item dot content and we'll say vertical align equals middle so it aligns with the image and then we'll add a header and we'll say as equals h1 and we'll give it content equal to and we'll just say display name for now and then we'll add another column under this so we'll say grid.column again and we'll give it a width equal to 4 so it takes up the remainder of the available width in our browser and what we'll have in here is we'll use another component we've not used before from Semantic UI called Statistic and we'll make this a statistic group and give it widths equal to 2 and then we'll add two statistics inside here so we'll say statistic and we'll give it a label equal to followers and we'll set the value and we're just going to hard code the value for now equal to 5 and we'll copy this down and we'll say following instead of followers and we'll just say the value is 42 and below our statistic group we're going to add a divider which is just going to give us a horizontal line and then we're going to add some buttons to either follow or unfollow a user and to do that we'll use another component we haven't used from Semantic UI called a reveal and we'll make this animated so we'll set animated equal to move and then we add our reveal content so we'll say reveal content and the idea of this is we have visible content and hidden content and when a user hovers over the button or what's inside this reveal then it displays the hidden content so we'll set this equal to visible and we'll set the style equal to width of 100% so it takes up the full width available and then we'll have a button and we'll make the button fluid and we'll give it a color equal to teal and the content will set equal to following and below this reveal content we'll have another reveal content so I'm just going to copy this and paste it below and this time this one's going to be hidden and again the button's going to be fluid the color will add an expression for and same goes for the content as well so it will change depending on whether the user is currently following that user or not following that user but we don't have that information yet because we haven't added that logic so we're just going to set it to true and we'll say red colon green which obviously will not do anything because it's always going to be equated to true just now or we've got no way of changing this value so it's just for the future when we come to actually use this we'll do the same below just so that we get the expression in place and the content will either be unfollow 
or it's going to be follow. And then we can go add this to our profile page. So we'll go back to our profile page. And what we'll do, instead of returning an H1, we're going to return a semantic UI grid. And we'll say grid dot column and we'll give it a width equal to 16 and inside here we'll add our profile header and we'll just take a look and see how this is looking on our page and if we go take a look we can see we've got a placeholder for the image we've got our display name we've got our statistics and we've got our reveal button which shows following or unfollow and we'll change that to a basic button actually so let's go back to profile header and we'll just add basic here so it isn't a solid color in the button and if we go take another look that's more like it. So what we'll do is we'll just lay out the content for the other parts of our profile page underneath the header before we go ahead and start getting the user's profile from the API and we'll take a look at the content page next.